everyone. Today, I will show you some breathing exercises that will help you improve your breath control, breath support, and improve your overall tone. Now, if you have not watched my video on breathing yet, I highly recommend that you pause, watch that video, and come back. All right, let's start. First, let's just practice some of our good breathing with a low and relaxed inhale. Ready? Let's go. Breathe in, relax. Once again, relax. One last time. Very good. If you feel that inhaling in your relaxed tummy is still very difficult for you, I would say pause this video, take a little bit more time for it, and then return. All right, our first exercise is a little bit silly, but I do think that it helps a lot with feeling our breath a little bit more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go stand against the wall. So now I'm gonna breathe the same way as we just did as we practiced our relaxed inhale and exhale, except this time I really wanna just lean against the wall with my tummy. And as I relax my tummy, I really wanna feel that push away from the wall. If this is still pretty difficult, what you can also do is lay on the floor with your back flat and try to breathe. Let's go into it. Let's do five inhales and then five exhales. Ready and go. Relax. Three more. One last more. And this is something that you can practice at any point, anywhere. What is very important is that you do not forcefully push with your tummy against the wall. Make sure that you really think of that letting go relaxation as you take your breath. Make sure that your mouth is open. Make sure that the crossing of your jaw, your tongue, and your throat is nicely open so you can get enough breath in. All right, let's move on to our second exercise. For this exercise, we will use some props and these props are right here. So you can use, this is actually, if you have some old stockings, that's great, you can just do that. I just took them and I cut them off. Another thing that you can use is elastic band. If you have one of those like um, workout bands at home, you can use those as well. What we will do is we will just breathe in, we're gonna relax, and as we exhale, we're gonna start pulling apart. And the way we pull this is very low, and we just pull out, and when we are finished with our exhale, we again, we just relax the same way we relax our tummy, the same way we will relax this elastic. We will take a relaxed inhale and then we will be exhaling on a hiss sound for five counts. Are you ready? Let's go into it. Relax. Let's relax. Let's relax. Good. Now we will extend this to 10 counts. It's going to do it. You can kind of try and count it in your head as well. Ready? And relax. So relax. Relax. Next one, we 
are gonna go to 15 seconds this time. Ready? And relax it. And that is it. So if you want to continue doing this, you can pause the video and come back later. And you can do this, you can keep extending the time on how long you are exhaling on the hiss. You can also change to, you can change to a to different consonants like V, F, um, a, uh, H is a very good one as well. So this is a very good exercise. It shows you just really where to breathe and how to really expand a lower abdomen. Now, the next exercise is going to be a similar one. We will take a quick inhale, a relaxed inhale, and then we will pulsate our breath and we will do that six times, all right? So let's relax. Again, this exercise, what you can do is keep adding on how many pulses you actually do with the exhale. So you don't take a new breath, but you just go. So you can keep adding more and more to it. Our next exercise keeps reinforcing this area of our breathing. I like it because I think it's sometimes very difficult to kind of feel the expansion in the rib cage. A lot of times we kind of feel it in our belly, but it's very hard to feel it in our rib cage. So what you can do, you'll keep thinking about your relaxed tummy, letting it go, but you will go into a forward fold. So you will lean forward, and you will put your hands on your lower back. And as you're breathing, you should feel a nice expansion in your lower back. Let's try this. So we were gonna breathe in and out, do it in your own pace. You don't have to do it fast. You just want to do it right. All right, let's lean forward. And we start breathing. Remember, mouth is open your contact between your jaw, throat, and your tongue is nicely open. And just try to relax your tummy now. And even if you feel just a tiny little micro movement in your lower back, that's very good. You have time to grow and improve. One last time. And again, this is a very nice exercise to practice anywhere. Maybe you want to just do this before you go to bed. Maybe you want to do it when you wake up. Maybe you want to do it after you took a shower or just that you're stretching after a run. You don't need any equipment. You don't need a lot of space, just yourself. Right. The next exercise we're going to do is going to improve our lung capacity over time. And what we will do is we will blow that, you know, birthday candle, how you go like so very vigorously. And we will take a big breath, inhale, relax and then just breathe out as far as long as you can then breathe in again and we're going to repeat that 10 times i will show you once how to do this so i relax i relax and we're going to do it 10 times ready let's go and
Now, if you feel a little lightheaded after this, it is very normal. So please make sure that if you want to, you can do this exercise as well, sitting down if you just feel like you're spinning a little bit. You don't want to do this for more than 10 to 15 times because you don't want to pass out. All right. Our next exercise is going to be blowing a candle, but very lightly. So this time we will inhale and we will find a very focused breath and we will exhale directly onto our fingers. So before you do that, just play around with just really trying to focus. If you can feel your breath on your finger and we will be bringing our finger. We're going to start very closely and we're going to try to bring it further and further. And as we're doing this, we're really going to try and feel our breath on our finger. This is a very good exercise for focusing the breath and then focusing the tone as well later as you're trying to sing softly, especially. All right, let's relax. All right, relax and we're going to bring it a little bit further. Inhale, relax, a little further. Another one. And let's bring it back a little bit closer again. And we're going to bring it closer and this time we will count to 15. I'm going to snap for you as we're exhaling to 15. We're going to bring it about this far apart and we're going to start exhaling. Find a breath, fix your finger and let's go and inhale. Beautiful. That was hard, right? This is a very good exercise if you bring it very closely. When you can really barely feel the breath coming out of your mouth, that means that you're not using too much breath as you're singing later as well. So let's do it one more time. 15 counts, bring it a little bit closer. Don't feel too much breath on your finger. Ready? Breathe and relax. There we go. Another very good way for you to improve your lung capacity is taking a little piece of paper. And what you can do is you bring it on the wall and then you, you start blowing into it and you try to keep it on the wall for as long as possible. This might mean that the first time it stays there for a second or two. That's great. The next time it might be three seconds. The next time after that, it might be four seconds. It might also just be two seconds for a while and then three seconds for a while. And that's perfectly okay. So I relax, inhale, and I try to keep it up. Here we go. And we can do it once again. Relax, inhale. And this is a very good practice to improve your lung capacity. The last two exercises that we will do, very good to wake up your diaphragm. Diaphragm is a skeletal muscle, but it is very hard to control it the same way as we maybe control our biceps or control our abs or triceps and all those muscles that we have. So what we do for our diaphragmatic breathing and to wake up our diaphragm are a couple exercises that I will show you next. The first one that I really like for that is really just simple dog panting. 
when dogs are really hot or they're very excited, it's a very simple exercise. You stick your tongue out and you just go. And it might happen that you do this very slowly at first. Do it right, do it slowly, rather than doing it fast and doing it wrong. Just go. Put your hands on your tummy. Feel whether you have the nice relaxation, nice expansion happening as you take your inhale. Let's go and try and do it. Let's do it very slowly first. And then you can start going faster and faster. So don't do it too fast if nothing is happening here, okay? You can do this exercise again, anytime, anywhere, anywhere. Very, very good one before you start singing. The last exercise, which is really good to wake up your diaphragm, is some hissing. What we will do is we're gonna take an inhale and then we're just gonna start pulsating our breath and we're just gonna go So we're gonna keep doing the same exercise. What we will do though that we will be changing is the duration of this hiss. What's really important when you take this inhale, remember, again, your mouth open, the back of your mouth. Think that yawn, think that nice opening. If you want to, what can help as well is maybe think of a bow. O oh, is your breathing in. Oh, that really opens your back, your mouth, and it really allows you to just quickly relax your tummy and then go from there. All right, we will start pulsating and we will do this for two beats. Then we're going to go to one beat, then only every half a beat. And then we're going to do it for four beats. Ready? And And what I'll do as well, I'm going to take my elastic band right here and I'll practice this with it. And now we're going to go every one beat. Now we will do every half of the beat. And what is really important is that we don't try to relax and take inhale for every time we hiss because it will be way too much. So we're, what we're gonna do instead is let's hiss for four times and then we take an inhale. Ready? And Beautiful. Four counts. Ready? And for another four counts or eight counts or 10 counts. And what you will notice is the shorter time you need to hold this, the stronger the exhale needs to be so you use your breath. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that these exercises can help you in the future to improve your breath support, breath control, and just overall tone as well. Remember, this video is always available for you on YouTube so you can always come back and just maybe do one of the exercises or two that you found very helpful. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm constantly creating new content for my YouTube channel, so stay tuned. See you guys next time.